Hey, my name is Lee, and I'd like to welcome you to this video where I'd just like to show you a project that I'm working on right now. So, this is a car configurator. Um, this is based on some of the videos that I've seen on YouTube. And uh, I'd like to show my progress, what I've got so far. And really the purpose for doing that is um, if, you like, if you like this and you'd like to know how this is done, you know, you can feel free to ask me some questions. And once it's complete, I, I will most likely release this for free if there's enough uh, requests. So, with that being said, uh, let's just jump straight into this and uh, I can show you what I've got so far. So, first things first is, um, before we jump in, well, actually let's jump into the game first. So, first things first is, as you can see, it's not complete yet. Um, as I said, it's still a work in progress, you know, I'm missing things like the window wipers and the wheels, uh, interiors and logos and, and so on and so forth. But, what you can see straight away is that I have these nice high quality reflections and this is based on uh, the project setup and, and the use of uh, HDR maps um, being used accordingly. Uh, you can see that I can left click and I can rotate around the uh, car here. If I use the scroll wheel, I can zoom in and out. So this is a really nice uh, feature. Now on the left hand side, I have these three buttons and this is going to be, or this, this is the placeholder for some of the configurations. Now I only have three of them set up right now and they're pretty simple and uh, as I said I do plan on adding more but the first one is going to allow us to select the color of the car so right now uh, by default it's set to orange but I can set this to blue or to this uh, silver color if I'd like. So this is pretty cool. I mean just jump back over, over to the orange here. And if I click this again, those options will disappear. Um, I can click on them and then I can also click the second one and you can see that the options will change here. And the second set of options is to do, is, is dealing with the uh, windows here. So right now the windows are very clear, which is going to be really nice when we have um, uh, an interior in here. But if we don't have an interior, we can set this to be blacked out and uh, we'll get something that looks like this. So that's uh, pretty nice. And the last option I've got set up here deals with the lights. So right now you can see the lights are turned on by default. Uh, so you can see it's turned on here. And if we scroll all the way to the back here, you can see I have the lights on the back. And I can turn these off by clicking this button. And you see the lights are off. And right now this turns the lights off for the front and the back. So we turn them on and off for here. You see, on, off. Now obviously, um, in the future I'll probably split some of these features up so you'll probably have the ability to turn on the front lights and the back lights and um, maybe I'll add like some sort of decals that can be added onto the car just to give it some interest but uh, for now I mean this is my progress I plan on adding the rest of the messes in here so I can bring in the wheels it would be nice if we could have um, uh, change that maybe the, the rim colors um, and uh, yeah, maybe like we can, maybe I'll add like the section here. Um, there's going to be a spoiler that's not being added on here, but um, yeah, maybe we can add, maybe I may have some customization to be able to switch the meshes out. So maybe this has one mesh with a spiral and one without, and uh, and so on and so forth. But until then, I'd like to thank you for watching. And uh, like I said, if you if you like this video, please uh, let me know. Let me know in the comments below. If I get enough requests, I'll probably release this uh, project for free when it's completely finished. Uh, until that point, I'd like to thank you uh, again for watching. And uh, bye-bye for now.